champ, life champ, camp, whatever you are. It's time for the, the champ and the chosen one to upgrade his chain gang situation. It's gonna be the fruits of the labor. My first piece of jewelry. I was a little sketchy on buying it, but you know what? I only live once, so I'm gonna treat myself. And I'll let you guys join me. Postman. Always cutting it close. Champ Life, what's up? We're filming right now, giving a mild, a mild, mild walk through my up, but bringing we're on the east side in St. Louis right now, picking up my mom's, and uh, we're gonna take her to the old house in Ferguson. Then later on today, we might go. Buy a couple of them. What's up, mom? This is the infamous corner. So this is the intersection of Brotherton and Hearns. As I said before, there was some crypts that lived on this street in one house over there, like 10 of them in one house. We out here in these streets, McClure High School, old stomping grounds. I used to run these streets when I was in high school. So it's excited to be back. Man, I haven't been here in a long time. You guys got to see uh, where I grew up at, my home, you know, where I decided to, to get my butt whooped into some game. You know, so you get saw all that, so now you can see where I, I turned the corner. Where I decided to, you know, give up those uh, poor habits, make good grades put myself in position to go to college and um, get a degree. So that's what you're going to see here in a minute. What he talks about, uh, he last, what he preaches, you know, he's and what he's about, aside uh, from national, you know, yeah, being yeah, yeah. a MMA fighter, yeah. is, man, he's in it for these kids. He's he preaching like, all of the good things that you and I constantly out all there in the same. hub, all teaching all our same. young men the integrity. You know, of, of being a young person, of, you know, following rules and all of that. That's what he stands for. Hey, comments. I'm putting in a call for some new masks, man. I, I ain't promising a miracle, but I promise you I'm putting it in. Get the swing one through, but at least, at least have a good mat facility. At least be geared up the, the best you can, so. Yep. We get into character. I'm going from 34 to 64, 74. Let's go. And action. Come on, young lions. Get their attention. So don't plead with them, man. Get their attention, and then and then be real with tender. There's Mordecai. I'm just here rehearsing, but I like to make it authentic as possible. I got the gloves, the towel. You know what I'm saying? I went to Sparta one day, and you needed. A I saw you there. I saw you. He, was, he didn't have a partner. I didn't have a partner. I was like, doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what happened. I remember. Yeah, I was like, man, I hope you don't yeah, call me out. He was like, hey, you're right. You want a partner? No, I'm good, man. I, I think I'm good. <laughs> no, that's what I, that's that's what what I was thinking. Chronicles, when people keep it real, I don't like this. <laughs> the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. Champ Life, what's up? The Chosen and One here. We out at Eagle Rock Studios in Atlanta, Georgia, filming Escape Plan 2. It's probably my largest role I've ever had in the film, so I'm excited about it. Get to play the um, the Nigerian military guy. I'm not gonna give you my dialect, give you my little lines. You heard it later on, but I'm excited, man. It's a huge cast. Um, Sylvester Stallone, um, Mike um, Batista's in the movie, um, 50 Cent's in the movie. So it's a pretty big role with me, and I get to act with some of these legends, and I'm excited about it. So stay tuned. More inside footage of what we do on set. Now we gotta get rid of the camera. Blah. What up, Champ Life? It's a wrap for your boy today. Knocked out my couple scenes. I didn't get to get my one bar off. I'm flexing on you, man. I've been in the goddamn mirror all day saying, no, no. I will take I'll it, take motherfucker. It. I'll take it. I'll God take damn it. it. I'll take it, motherfucker. No, I'll take it, motherfucker. I'll take it. I'm the only motherfucker that will take it. Fan people, mail. fan mail. You got fan mail. 
Sometimes people think you do not read the card. Damn it, I read your cards. Unless you got some toe down, broke down Spanglish. I might not read that. But if you write me something, you take the time to send something, especially if you send a return envelope. Now, if you don't send a return envelope, people, I'm going to be forced to assume that you just want to send me a dope-ass card of myself to give away to a kid or something. So, that's what we're doing. So, this is a nice little... It's probably take two days to get a little pile like that. Locate that and maximize that. You know, and actually get a little bit more out of yourself than you even think is possible. That's what I think success is for. Thank you for coming to the Little sister right here, not baby sister, but little sister, little big sister. Little big sister. She ran the show when I was, when I was a kid. So we just finished a day of 10 hours of shooting. Um, now we're at the car dealership. We're gonna purchase three vehicles today. I know, yeah, three vehicles. Love, family love. So we are, we are. Um, my son is 13 right now, and uh, we're we're buying a car for him. So when he's 16, he'll already have it. We're gonna let our sitter use it. Right now she's using our extra vehicle, which is um, on his last leg, so we don't want to put any more money into that. So I'm going to buy his car a little early for him, then he'll get a chance to drive it for a couple years, um, learn how to drive. So when he's 16, it won't be his first time driving. It'll be all crashing and stuff. Also, my mom got a hip replaced, shoulder replaced, and she is able to drive now. She's got to get that goddamn on license, though. <laughs> <laughs> She's able to drive now, and um, we're going to get her a car. And lastly, my son's dad, super, super blended family. It takes too long to explain to you, but we all family. So my son's dad is a successful chiropractor, made it to the grind, graduated top of his class, um, was at a um, dead-end job when he first started in February Heights, very unhappy. His swag changed, his moods changed, every, his aura changed, and now he's in a place where, you know, he can't, he crack in the back every every hour. So, you know, I just want him to feel confident when he walk into his office that he's a successful doctor and he needs to look the part as well. So, he's a very frugal man. He held that seat bring on to the final string. The wheels didn't quite roll off. My man ain't had no air conditioning in that car for so many years, never complained. So God put it on my heart um, to, to basically buy him a car. And also, he put it on his heart, obviously, to, to swallow his pride and um, humbly accept it because he could have been like, no, man, I buy my own car, I can't let you do that. Because us men, we have a lot of pride. So I was just blessed that he did not have that pride and allowed me to be obedient to God and a blessing with the car because this has been a great year for me and for my family. And I didn't get into the sport to try to be Filthy Rich, I get into this sport because I want to inspire people, motivate people, and if I can help my family out, then damn it, I'm doing it. Nah. So we out in this peace. Yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate that, sir. Tell them keep up the fighting. Absolutely.